All right, guys, I just pulled up to the House of Masks. We're gonna hide something in the House of Masks and see how long it takes him to find it. We are going to hide this wonderful, oh, there he is. We are gonna hide this wonderful thing somewhere inside the House of Masks. And he almost just saw me, he was outside for whatever. There he is, oh, he's skating. All right, so AJ literally just came out to the car and almost caught me and saw what I was gonna hide inside his place. Anyways, he's inside getting a mask so we can go out to eat real quick for some lunch, but uh, he almost caught me, so uh, we're gonna have to hide this later. All right, AJ's back there taking a dump right now, so this is the perfect time to hide our jar jar. somewhere I think I think right there is pretty good so I basically just hid a classic Jar Jar Binks toy in Buckethead land so uh yeah I think it's a good spot for it I can't even see it over there until you get close I'm gonna jump on this trampoline now hey Jay you still pooping yeah about the light oh sick Everything coming out okay in there? Uh, it's not a great size. Uh, a little, little hot? A little, little spice coming out of there? Like a wet sand. Ooh, nice. Did you wash your hands? Oh yeah. You did? Yeah. I'm proud. So AJ literally just turned all of these lights on and still didn't see that. And ironically enough, it's right next to a Star Wars bucket, so that's actually a super perfect spot. He's about to bring someone through here and like show them everything, so we'll see if he notices. Yeah. All right, so AJ literally just showed some of his neighbors his building, like took him on a whole tour, and he still didn't notice the Jar Jar. I wonder how long this is gonna go on. This might be like, this might take a while. It's yeah. hidden pretty good, but it's not too hidden. I don't know. This is gonna be interesting. Four to six days later. We are pulling up to the House of Masks. And we are gonna see if our little hidden Jar Jar is still there. It's been almost an entire week, so we'll go see if it's in there. We're gonna hang out with AJ for a little bit, eat some Taco Bell. Three days later. All right, we just pulled up to AJ's. We we're about to check on our Jar Jar. It's been over a week, or actually I think it's been a week today that Jar Jar has been there. So I'm pretty sure it's still there. So let's go check. Well, apparently I am about to go learn how to ride a motorcycle for the first time. Thanks, AJ. I am kind of scared. Woo, well, I'm pretty sure I can still feel my pulse beating like crazy and I'm still shaking, And uh, but I did it. I rode a motorcycle for the first time and uh, I may or may not have almost crashed into another car. Uh, not almost, but I just kind of forgot how to stop for a second. So if you want to see me ride a motorcycle for the first time, definitely check out AJ Good's second channel, The Good Life. I will say that channel is definitely PG-13 and up, so for you youngins out there, you may want to let your parents watch the video first before you go and check that out. Just a little disclaimer. Wow. Wow. Oh God, what is he doing? What is he? Okay, it's red. Go, it's green, go. <laughs> All right guys, so. AJ is taking a poop right now, so it's kind of the perfect time to go check on our Jar Jar. Let's go see if it's still there. Would you look at that? He is still hanging out right next to the Star Wars bucket. 
I can't believe he has not found that yet. Did you wash your hands? You're so wet. This is gonna be a compilation every time I- I want AJ to find that jar jar so bad. I want to wait a little bit longer and just be like, hey man, just take me on a little tour through your bucket head stuff. I don't really, I don't really know about much of that stuff. And then just realize that there's a Jar Jar Banks just chilling. That's that. It's been about a week. Uh, who knows how long it'll be before he finds it. Figured AJ would appreciate a sticker right in his line of sight. It's a pretty good spot for it. I don't really know what to do with this trash either, so we're just gonna, just gonna leave it right there. but I kind of wish we got the shark or the ice cream guy or even this alien with the key tar. Hey, Lana, which, which one out of these do you do you like? Whatever she's supposed to be. A mermaid. Oh, okay. Is that a girl genie? It might just, it could be a girl genie. Yeah, I don't think it's a mermaid. That's cool. Over there we got a ghost with basically looks like Bellatrix. <laughs> Pretty cool. I just, I really just want that ice cream guy and the shark and that wolf is pretty cool too that cowboy's all right i guess but oh yeah and the alien i like that. so i want the alien the ice cream cone the only unfortunate thing about it is you can't go feel the boxes for what you want but... it comes with a microphone yeah mini microphone what do you think about these lana you think it's pretty cool? <laughs> I think yeah. they're pretty all right. All right, just got my background set up here for my next video here. I'm honestly not even sure what set I'm gonna review next. Probably not gonna do the Y-Wing or the Ninjago stuff. And the Harry Potter stuff I'd like to save for maybe when I can get a few more of those first wave Potter sets. I'm thinking it's going to be between the Bonsai Tree, the Imperial Shuttle, or the Micro Fighters here. Hmm. I'm really not sure yet. I'm literally just going to make a last minute decision. Obviously, I could build this one way faster and then I can play some Xbox. But, I don't know. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Hmm. What do we got going on over here, Lana? Let's see what they got. Hmm. Oh, Lana, look. They have two left of what I came here to get. And I might just get them both. I think they only have two left. I got a bunch of these. That's awesome. Yeah, Alana, look, I just came to get these. And I only had two of them left, so probably gonna get those. Got some 501st hiding. Oh, they got Greaves the Starfighter up here backwards. See anything you like? What? Which one? You okay? You okay? <laughs> Which one? The all the way at the top. The, the Mario one? Oh, well, all that is is just the parts and you can make your own course. I mean, I guess that's that's pretty cool, but this is pretty cool. You get blue. Funny. All right, Lana, show me which one you picked out. Got a Minecraft? Okay, so here's the deal, Lana. So I got my two Y-Wings I wanted. This is the last two they had. But we need to spend 20 more dollars to get $10 of Kohl's cash. That's the first one. We could pick out that one. Jago one right there, that dragon. Or the ice cream. Or that ice cream truck. Which one do you think? Let me pick this. Which one do you think? 
Let's start. That one? The Ninjago one? Yeah, I think that's a pretty good deal. All right, grab that. Put it here. Thank you. Grab yours. Okay. Oh, I can't hold that one, too. I can't hold it. All right, let's go. Up to you. No, I catch up to you. No. <laughs> Fast. No, you're fast. I'm tired. I'm done. No. I'm not going anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got this big line to wait in now. Don't drop them. Don't want to drop them. Oh, well, you mean don't tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Here, let me, oops, i slide that one over. There you go. You're crazy. Lana, what are we building? The boat, and I'm right on the table. Friends party boat? Yep, you're right on the table. <laughs> I have to. Friends party boat? <laughs> goodbye. See ya. Hello, goodbye, hello, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> this is the kid. And this see. is the this is the kid. Oh, okay. And this is the mom. Is it really? I thought they were all just friends. No, this is the this is the dad. No, I'm pretending. Oh, okay. We're getting the life jackets on. That's a pretty cool boat Take you got the head there. Off. <laughs> you got a special performer there? Singing at your party? No, he's done. No, oh, he's, he's not even singing. He's See? done? Oh, okay. Yeah, he's they're not having a good dance party. He's about ready to leave. What are you watching, Lana? Maya. It is about two o'clock on Friday, which means... Oh, yes. Let's go. All right, guys. So I just wanted to touch on something that happened to me earlier this week. Someone stole some Lego from me. And I was not very happy. So that's a big reason why I was like literally right behind my front door ready for this package that I just got. But for the package that got stolen from me, luckily Lego customer service is incredible and they are already sending me a replacement package. So that just goes to show you cannot just trust your neighbors or trust the people around you when you got a package coming and you're not going to pick it up right away. It's best to have somebody else swing by the house or leave a note and have them drop it off behind your house. So when my replacement package comes in tomorrow, I'm having my buddy Jake come by and pick that up for me. So huge shout out to Jake for helping me keep my packages from getting stolen. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into this unboxing. I wonder what could be in this giant brown box. I have no idea. Let's find out. No! No! All right, guys, this is none other than another order from Lego. I guess first we will start out with the smaller box in the package. Oh, yeah, that is nice. We've got the new and exclusive, and I believe it is already done being a promotional item. The Amelia Earhart tribute. 
So I'm super stoked to have my hands on one of these and I actually have another one of these on the way as well. So really excited to have two of these. So I'll be building one and keeping one sealed for sure. All right, so item number one out of the way. This next one is a set that I have wanted for a super long time and I'm really, really happy I finally got my hands on this. I'm also not sure how much longer this is even gonna be on shelf, so I'm really glad I went ahead and got this out of the way. But in this box, we have the wonderful Darth Vader's castle. Ooh, this is super, super sick. That has to be some of the best Lego Star Wars box art I have ever seen. Ooh, and it's even got that side box art that they don't like to do anymore. Even the back of the box looks great. Oh my goodness. I mean, just look at that beautiful, beautiful box art. I mean, this has to be one of the best box arts that Lego has ever done. I would almost buy two of these just to keep one sealed. This is a great set. Is it overpriced for $130? I can't imagine I can go a long time without building this thing. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for the review on this very, very soon. Got the AJ good there. Drink and me going back to back. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> now I regret not filming that in one clip. Oh. Back to back. Mm. Oh. Mm. Shaw, dude. What up? See, these are all new but this is what I came here to find. And there's one left, so I guess we'll go ahead and grab it. They used to have a bunch of these. They've been retired for a while, but those are all new Harry Potter, which is good because those are sold out a lot too. And they got some, got some dots. Oh, they got some, it's just like a random car, a random car with a dude on a skateboard, a little Easter, Easter egg. How much is it? Oh, that's probably five bucks. Poly bags are usually five bucks. Well, look at that. They got some Series 21 hanging out right over there. Here's Potter fans cookbook. Oh, what? I mean, you know I've never been in here before. Really? You've never been into Joann's? Mm -hmm. It's literally all just dots. I mean, that's cool, though. But it's all dots. Oh, I got the... You and me going fishing in the dark night on our backs and counting stars where the cool grass grows. A narwhal. Oh, kitty cats. Yeah, that's oh, that's yeah, that's new. That's I think. So Joanne Fabrics, I feel like they only get like minifigures and dots now, which makes sense. They used to have like a couple random sets. Oh, in panda! Here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I think these are all new too because I haven't seen these things. Oh, it's a bag tag, so you like clip it onto your. You should probably get her one of those. For, oh, adorable! You should probably get her one of those for Easter. Oh. And you can get that poly bag too. <laughs> Wow, this is series four. So this is a fresh shipment of dots, but I just don't think they have any, I don't think they have any sets anywhere. What's that? Oh no, this isn't my shelf. It's this guy's shelf. I can't believe I got my own Audi. You finally got an Audi, dude. How's it feel to be the proud owner of a 1985 Audi Sport Quattro ST? Actually, S1. I'm sorry. 1985 Audi Sport Quattro S1. Feels pretty good, man. I'm just hoping to keep her down on all four BKT tires while I'm out there today. You know, uh, corner's getting a little rough, but uh, we got a good team, got a good car, and I'm really hoping that we can just uh, bring it home, put it in the bag, and uh, keep her down on all four BKTs. Yep. One minute, 37 seconds later. So it's been about two weeks, and uh, we're gonna see if AJ has found that Jar Jar yet, so let's go find out. Yeah. What you doing over there? Fixing stuff. Yeah. Making tweaks. 
Yeah, so I've been getting into Slipknot lately, but I've been kind of wondering, like, about this whole, like, Buckethead thing, like... Let's go to Buckethead land. Yeah, man. Uh... What are your favorite... Like, what are, I know he's a musician, right? He's not a band, right? It's just, like, one guy. He's the world's greatest guitarist. Yes. He's also a really awesome bass player and other stuff. Sick. Yeah. He's just cool, man. He likes all kinds of stuff, so, like, when you like Buckethead, you, like, get introduced to, like, all kinds of other crap. Right. There's a TIE fighter right here. Yeah, he likes Star Wars and karate and horror and all right, all right. Disneyland and amusement parks and I forget what else I didn't say in there. What basketball? Uh, he loves Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah. What would you say your uh, favorite couple pieces are over here? Uh, if you had to pick like two. If I had to pick two, I would pick my original '90s KFC buckets. Ooh, which is. Oh, just them in general, or just, just that this that specific one, that one, yeah. one is and like I have one. another OG right here on yeah, him. Yeah, that's like his most well-known look, and those are really hard to find. So obviously the the buckets are like the the bread yeah. and butter. And then uh, my original Herbie. I think I'd pick my original Herbie over anything. So that's number one. Right so there. he played on stage in that? No, he uses those to like communicate to the audience or like whatever. It's like this, like you. Right. He holds them out like during the set when there's like speaking in his uh, songs or whatever. Do you think the like 14 year olds that watch my channel are scared by this stuff or do you think it's, they probably they, think it's cool? They either are scared or they most likely are like, wow, that's stupid. That guy wears chicken buckets. Wow, that's stupid. <laughs> you have to see past probably. the chicken bucket and see like, I don't even see a chicken bucket. Like when I think, like it sounds weird to say that, like right. oh, he wears a chicken bucket on his head, but in all actuality, I He's, he's just cool. I don't know. Yeah. He plays all kinds of music, but he's not like no cursing. I no know tattoos, the song. No drinking, no drugs, nothing. Right. Like that. I know the song that's on Guitar Hero. Jordan? Yeah. Yep. Crazy. So yeah. we got more buckets up here. Uh, you do have another Star Wars bucket uh, right behind that, that Jar Jar. What did, is that? Did you know you had. <laughs> what is that? Wait, that Jar Jar is not like a part of like no. Buckethead. Did you put it here, dude? I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't really know how that. Doesn't I mean. everyone hate Jar Jar anyways? Uh, yeah. There's a big love hate relationships between the people in the community. Some people hate him. Some people kind of like him. Well, he does not belong in Buckethead land. <laughs> Worst kick ever. <laughs> All right, guys. So quick recap here. I know, right? Super weird. Joanne Fabrics, Lego. But believe it or not, Joanne Fabrics do carry Lego. But some Joanne Fabrics stores are cutting it down to just minifigures and dots, which actually makes sense that Joanne Fabrics would carry dots because it's more of like kind of a fashionable line. But anyways, I'm pretty sure you basically did see everything that we did get at Joanne's. Got this nice little Easter poly bag for Lana. And it was really surprising that Joann's had these because these are fairly new. So we got Lana the Panda bag tag. And I went ahead and got a Series 21. All three of these things are going to be in Lana's Easter basket. So she should be pretty hyped on those. And the one thing I got for myself was this DC CMF. I would say about three or four months ago, they had quite a few of these. But I had only picked up one or two of them. And of course, now I regret that because this was the only one they had left. But... I was feeling the parts a little bit, and I think we might have a Joker. Let's go ahead and break this baby open and see if we have the Joker. I really hope it is. All right, let's see. Oh, I don't want to look. Is it the Joker? Yes! Let's go. I would clap right now, but it's really late at night. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I got like the bee lady and I think this guy, which I guess, eh, they're both okay, but I really wanted the Joker and I'm super hyped that I got him. This is actually my first Joker minifigure. Give you a closer look at this guy. He even has his card. That is amazing. But there's a lot of light on this white figure. There we go. Uh. As soon as I felt this pink kind of honeycomb piece, I had a feeling it was going to be the Joker. Well, even though that they only had one of these DC figures left, at least I got my favorite one. I mean, I would have wanted him or Batman, but honestly, this is my favorite one of the series. So, yeah, I just got super, super lucky. All right, guys, so the moment that we've all been waiting for, the moment that 
I've been waiting for. Waiting for longer than I should have because the original version of this got stolen off my porch. This was the stolen package I was talking about earlier in this vlog. But like I said, luckily Lego customer service was amazing. So this is the replacement package. All right, so first off, I will just show you the Amelia Earhart promo set. Super stoked to have two of these, which means I can build and review one and then keep another one sealed. We've got another one of the Ninjago Epic Battle sets. We already had coal, so I figured I'd go ahead and grab another one. Another one. And lastly, we have another Ninjago Legacy set. This set is only $40. And the beauty of Ninjago is the fact that it's not a licensed theme. I mean, this set right here literally would be a $70 Star Wars set. Well, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this week's vlog. If you are still watching here at the end of this video, you are amazing. Comment down below if you stayed through and watched the entire video. I'm definitely still trying to find my footing with the vlog type stuff, but this is only my second vlog, so I'm still kind of working out the kinks. But if you do enjoy these vlogs, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. Hit that like button. And uh, yeah, if you haven't entered the giveaway, the link for that will be in the description below. If you're already subscribed and you haven't entered the giveaway, what are you doing? And if you haven't subscribed and you do enjoy the content, definitely check out the giveaway video link below. In that video, I explain everything about the giveaway, how to enter, and how it all works. Anyways, thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. You all are amazing. As always, this has been Brent's Bricks, and remember, never stop building.